This is about the middle of May of this year. I was uh, guest hosting here. Uh, Ron and Ann were on a uh, 25th anniversary holiday. And um, it was about the middle of the week. An article came out in a local newspaper uh, announcing that um, the Ontario Securities Commission had um, uh, uncovered a, a, what we now know as a Ponzi scheme. And they mentioned the principal uh, uh, force behind that Ponzi scheme. And also the fact that um, a couple of um, the Maines uh, brothers had uh, been involved in, in this. Uh, and uh, of course, it created uh, quite a stir. Uh, the board of Crossroads uh, at that point determined that it would be better until such time as there was some clarification that uh, Ron and, uh, and, and, and Ren not uh, be on air. And as you know, they were very much apart. I mean, Ron is the president and is the, uh, the host of the program. And his wife, uh, Ren and Kathy, uh, overseeing the missions uh, Mondays. And it was a bit of a jolt to the system. And uh, for those of you who are watching at that time, you will recall that um, I uh, read uh, a, uh, a statement from, from the board and uh, it uh, created quite a stir. And a lot of you were, uh, were hurt. A lot of you were very upset. Some of you were angry. Uh, and uh, most everyone was a touch confused because uh, they just, uh, you just didn't really know exactly what was happening. And as is the case with a lot of these uh, investigations with the Ontario Securities Commissions and other organizations similar like the SEC in the States, the S uh, Securities Exchange Commission, um, it's a long and sometimes um, painfully slow process. And uh, so there has been a lot of uncertainty out there. There's been a lot of blogging going on, a lot of um, uh, misinformation, sometimes disinformation, uh, a lot of prayer on the part of many faithful supporters for uh, the situation. And uh, a few months ago, or actually maybe about six weeks ago, I read uh, another um, uh, statement from the board and also a statement from Ron and just uh, uh, added a bit more clarification to what was happening. But um, in the wisdom of, of, of the board, it was felt that this would be a good time for uh, Ron to come in personally and to talk with me about this. And I think for the purposes of full disclosure, I should say this, that I have been a friend of the Maines family for many, many years. Uh, and many years ago, I was co-host with David Maines for eight years of 100 Huntley Street. Uh, Ron also was, uh, was a, a key assistant for me when I was president of uh, Crossroads USA. And uh, so that, 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 that being said, uh, I still believe that uh, I have a role here to uh, represent you and some of your questions uh, to Ron so that Ron can respond. And he has graciously uh, agreed to do that. Welcome, Ron. Thanks, Jim. A, a lot of you are happy to see you back on the program live, I'm sure. It's great to be back in the studio. <laughs> Good being with you. We, uh, we have a little bit of a different set here, which I thought would be uh, refreshing and, and nice. So, Ron, uh, you, you're on this cruise. It's the middle of May, uh, and you get this blow to the solar plexus. What, what, what was going on? What, what was the situation as you, as you saw it and as you understand it? Well, in, uh, in a nutshell, uh, I, made, I made some poor judgment calls um, and seemed to be compounded by, <laughs> by other things. But uh, the bottom line is that you know, back about a year and a half ago, um, I uh, m made the mistake of saying yes to an opportunity that uh, was from a friend of mine, uh, someone I thought was a friend, uh, to to make an investment. He was doing. He was involved in investments, and I, I, um, I used poor judgment, and and just kind of jumped in with without doing due diligence, doing some research to find out, you know, what really is this all about. But I just, I took him at his word. And so I, Ann and I personally invested some funds. And then uh, to make matters worse, then I, I thought, well, this is such a wonderful opportunity. I want to share it with some family and friends. And, uh, and so some, some others, you know, at my recommendation, thought, okay, this sounds like a tremendous opportunity. And so, um, so others joined, you know, became part of the investment. And then even to make matters worse, worse on top of that, I, um, I made the mistake of, of accepting a, uh, a percentage, a commission, if you will, mm -hmm. from this friend. He said, this is just from, from my 
profit, the portion that, that I make from this investment to, to bless you further. And, and so not realizing at the time that you're supposed to have a, a license, anyone that receives any type of a, a fee for an investment. Uh, and so it was just kind of, you know, misjudgment and mistake on, on top of the other that, that kind of was in, in the background. And then, of course, on that time, May 15th is when the news came out that um, the allegations and the, the, the uh, case made against uh, this friend was that it was indeed a Ponzi scheme. And, and that, um, boy, that, that was a day that I'll never forget. Mm. Uh, you had no suspicion. Uh, I mean, it was, it was a pretty um, exciting uh, opportunity. Wasn't he uh, promising you and other investors something at like 5% a week or something? I, I forget exactly what it was, yeah. but it was in that range, wasn't it? Yeah, which seemed, you know, like unheard of. True. But it, it was one of those that, that you think, but it, then I think my judgment was clouded by, by my relationship with the guy because we, Ann and I, had known this couple for a number of years. Uh, we'd become close friends. We lived in our neighborhood, went to church together, Bible studies together. And um, his, his motivation appeared to be, what, what they talked about, was that it, it's for God's kingdom purposes, that God has kind of given this uh, opportunity and that those who would get involved, they didn't want anyone, you know, with any greed, the people who were kingdom-minded and would, be, would give to God's work. And all these type of things kind of resonated with us, and, and we just kind of took everything at face value. Now, that's, of course, a very beguiling for those who are involved in uh, Christian ministry and are dependent on uh, donor uh, dollars to, uh, to operate. Uh, but it seems to me there was a bit of a double whammy here, not only that appeal, but also the appeal to your, your personal wealth. I mean, you, you had to be thinking about uh, your personal benefit as well. Oh, well, we, in, in addition to um, doing what, what we felt God wanted us to do in giving, which we, we, gave, we were able to give, you know, like we've never been able to before, we, we, sure, we, we thought it would be great someday to be mortgage-free, you know, that's always what someone has a goal down the road to, to do that. And, uh, you know, kids' education and, and so on. So, yeah, there, there was, you know, certainly some of both mixed in there. And it never, it never occurred to you that uh, this was too good to be true. I mean, you, you just, you, you figured this is a great thing, this is what my friend says it is, and we're just going for it. It was pretty naive uh, looking back, but we just, I had no reason to question the integrity of this, this do you, friend. Do you, do, you feel, do you feel that this friend was, um, was using you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah look, looking back, I can certainly see that. Um, one of the, the characteristics of Ponzi schemes is uh, what they call a, a, affiliation, you know. You, yeah, affinity. Or, or affinity, affinity, yeah, yeah. affinity, yeah. You, you find someone who's well-connected and who has a lot of friends and influence and, and b people invest yeah. on the basis of their relationship with you. Now, what about those who invested with you? Uh, there, were, there were a lot of people, right? There were probably 40 to 50 yeah. that, that, uh, that became kind of part of, of a group. Um, mostly family and friends. You know, we certainly never went out to, you know, to supporters of the ministry or, or just, you know, putting out anything to staff or anything like that. We, it was just saying, um, you know, it was more, mostly word of mouth. So no, no, no supporters of the ministry or staff got involved? There, there were some staff, but it wasn't actively, you know, it wasn't actively soliciting staff. I see. And, and how do you feel about their losses? I mean, they, they've, oh. they've, they've all yeah. crashed with you, right? I, I can't tell you how, um, how deeply grieved I am that, that I allowed my name, <laughs> reputation, to be used in, in such a way and so that people have actually lost uh, some losing significant amounts of, of savings. And, uh, and that, that grieves me greatly. And, and Jim, um, you know, that's something I'm, I'm just having to live with. And by God's grace, you know, be, uh, I'll be forgiven <laughs> by anyone that, that feels that way. And, and that... Um, what kind of I'll feedback have you received? What kind of feedback have you received from some of these people? 